Ah, uh, hello! Welcome to the Gordek stream. We're doing a little late night edition stream. I'm Gordon. And this uh, intro took a little bit because my voice mod needed to update. So, hey, we're here. 1 30 in the AM, and we're gonna play us some Valhalla. Uh, there was a power outage earlier. Luckily, the power was down for less than an hour. And well, that kind of got in the way of me wanting to stream things. Let's see. All right. We have to, uh, okay, we bought something she wanted. On top of that, uh, we have to save up for rent. Oh, it feels good to be playing this. So yeah, I was under a bit of, uh, well, not stress. I guess I'm having a mood swing, which if you're a regular here, you'd know I'd, I have bipolar disorder. But I found out streaming is a great way to keep me grounded and keeps the mood swings from getting severe or lasting that long. Is It is definitely put, uh, or streaming has definitely had a very positive influence on my life. Let's see. Anything at the augmented eye? Oh boy, howdy. Mmm. Ugh. <laughs> this, this game, which did not come out at this year. Oh boy. Oh boy. This very strange alternate reality where this game ended up being amazing. And. They're going for a remaster, and I really, I mean, I, 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 there was a lot of very fundamental things wrong with that game, and I'm not sure if a remaster would help. They would, they would have to do a lot to fix that game. Okay, we don't need to save again. Uh, we've done everything. I guess we could just head on down to work. <laughs> Excuse me. Good evening. Uh, Joe, I'm out to get firecrackers. Oh, right. So we had our Christmas get together with our friends. We're gonna, I guess we're planning a New Year's Day one. I don't know what day it is though. And this game story ends on New Year's. Firecrackers? It's New Year's, right? We need some. Wouldn't firecrackers scare off the, the... Yeah, good idea. Go ahead. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Even for a cat lover, you sure get excited about firecrackers a whole lot more than when dogs are involved. I know how, hip how, I know how hypocritical it sounds, and I don't care. Ah, Jamie's here. Greetings. Anyway, let's start. Alright, let us, let us pick some music. We're leaving those two for sure. Let's see. What do I feel like? I feel like some uplifting music. You know, we had the, uh, we had that blackout. Um, for some reason, I seem to be getting a bit mood swingy, but, you know, I started my stream. I'm feeling great. Let's see. Yeah, not that one. I kind of like that one, and we'll do that one. I want to do Umemoto. I always forget which one this is. I'll do it. Let this one go. Yeah, I'll do that one. I'm just feeling the good, happy music today. You can have a bit of a moody track. You know, this it's not sad, but this is that like good self-reflecting music. And Lord, Lord knows, not a day in this game goes by until someone does some self-reflecting. Well, not that one. Definitely not that one. I like this song from the trailer. Let's see. Hmm. Mm, 
I do like that one. Yeah, let's pick that one. And then we put this on shuffle. Keep things interesting. And now it is time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, the guy that wouldn't come back twice. Oh, hey, Ingram. Yeah, yeah, shut up. By any chance, did something fly over here two weeks ago? On Friday? Yes. There was lots of weird explosion noises throughout the night. But as far as I understand, those were made by a flying Joan or something like that. The flu by here. I take it you know what made the noise. Let's just keep it at whatever Joan story you heard. Right. And the noise got annoying after a while. I must say. Oh, my silly mouse wheel again. So it remained in the vicinity. I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but yeah. This and explosions all night. Interesting. But I didn't get far away. Hmm. Um. Now give me a Mars Blast. A Mars Blast with a guy that wouldn't come back twice. You gotta appreciate this very interesting kind of customer. Eh, maybe he likes the scenery. I know I do. Ah, lovely Mars Blast. Damn, this is a strong drink. Mostly for the Flanner Guide. Oh, and it is bitter. It's spicy. Here you go. Oh, you didn't mess it up. Sorry if I may interject. You looking for a fight? Most certainly not. You really think you'd stand a chance? You're like half his size. I can fight dirty. He kills people for a living. I can fight dirty. Dale, please, you make me sound like a savage. It would be like me saying that you get people drunk for a living. It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right, sorry. And like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem like the strong- You- I just noticed you seem like strong drink. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. I'd even come to believe that I'm the only one here who enjoys them aside from the owner. Me, I suggest that you try a suplex next time. Might be to your liking. Hmm. Okay, let's try the suplex thing. Right. Giving him a suplex. Wow, that sounded weird. Uh, God, I want to say he has it coming, but he's he's got some complexities underneath that harsh exterior. He's he's gone through some stuff. Let's see, all on the rocks and mix <gasps> a suplex in the glass. Here, good stuff. Like less burning but punchier pile driver. So your face looks somehow familiar, mister. Uh, call me Jamie. Are you? And you are? I'm Ingram. Anyway, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe when I needed to look for a specific file at, um... Did you perhaps go through the nano machine expunge? I did, actually. Figured as much, only a handful of people do that. And almost all of them are people with nano machine rejection that feel oddly suicidal. So why go through the whole thing? Rejection? Mm need to hide something? The second one. It's easy to remain undetected when they have no means to track you or your activity. I see. How does the expunge work? You lie in a pressure chamber and they give you a special IV solution. It causes nanomachine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. For five hours you're trapped in a bed with a horrible pr oh, with while a horrible pressure builds up in your body and the nanomachines are forced out. They're like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes, and your gums, and your toes. Everywhere. And after all that, they need to implant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ouch. Uh, what are you having, Jamie? This is a gut punch. Yeah, I should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. Sure. <laughs> Again, that didn't sound right. Wanting to give this man- Okay, maybe she doesn't want to. Maybe it's not a non-satisfaction. Maybe it's that she feels guilty for saying it because part of her wants her, even though she doesn't want to because he's a customer. Uh, you like him strong, homie. Give that a little mix. Bam. Alrighty. We in business now. 
here. So, yeah. Yeah, I love these. It looks different from yours, though. I had a couple of extras in his, actually. So where's the antibody unit they stuck you with, Jamie? Inside, like all the other maintenance systems. It can be troublesome at times, but the perks of having nanomachines in the... in the Oh, the perks of not having nanomachines in the body outweigh the cons. And the rest of the enhancements? Were you reconstructed, or have you been adding them over time? Over time, either by getting much-needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Nice to meet you, Ingram. Please come again. Don't count on it. You've said that twice. Shut up. Seems like a nice guy. Right. I don't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Maybe you cut him on a bad day? Nah. I think you're just that good with bringing out nicer, the nicer side of people. Oddly enough. Yeah, an assassin who brings out the best in people. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know. I don't know who to compare that to. I'm pretty sure I've seen those kinds of characters before. I'm sure there's a few of them in Fire Emblem. Let's see. Oh wait, dang it! Oh, that guy tires me the hell the hell out of me. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood. It's Alma. Give me a bad touch, will you? That way you'll be in a good mood too. <laughs> Oh, Jill. All right, looks like we're seeing, I wonder if this is the, this where we're gonna start seeing like character, uh, what is it? Some character arcs start to tie up. Is that four? Two, 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 four. Nothing but mammals after all. Let's see, all on the rocks and mix. The loveliest shade of green. Looks like fancy Mountain Dew. Which I'm not very fond of here. Jill, you have such a petty sense of humor. I'm guilty as charged. So, what put you in a good mood? Oh yeah, that. Today my sister was supposed to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Of course, not only did she show up later than her husband and drunk at that, but also dressed like she got fucked in the back of the parking lot. And to top it off, she forgot to even bring her kids. I knew my parents brought them to the to court. The judge assigned the kids to my parents for the time being. So she really messed it up, huh? When they come back to the house and uh, Diana started throwing a temper tantrum, she said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because the angst would make her jump into, onto the highway. So Ava comes and says, then make sure it kills you because we aren't dealing with you as a cripple. I shouldn't reinforce that behavior, but... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was the timing, but I've been laughing for an hour now. You have quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? You and I used to be the, co be the closest friends when I was seven or eight. We played all the time. We even slept in the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. Stop playing. She had other things she wanted to do. I could forgive all that. I mean, the age difference and all. But there was something in particular I still can't forgive. The day she invited her friends to the house, I went to ask her for something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked if I was her sister. She said she had no little sisters. Ouch. I think that was the moment that finally broke the pedestal I held her on. I admired her as much as a kid could admire someone, you know? Little by little, that admiration wore off until we finally reached that breaking point. I felt betrayed. And you haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? Hey! Not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather... The Diana who said all those things so many years ago is the same Diana that I know today. Oh, so. She hasn't matured one bit. She's still as selfish, childish, and immature as she was back then. And you see her, you don't see an adult. You see an overgrown, horny teen. So aside from destroying any admiration I held for her, she made sure not to fix that impression. Huh. Enough about me, how are you? Everything's fine, aside from this note. A note? Remember how I told you how I lashed out my dead girl... F <laughs> my dead ex's sister. Yeah? I got this note from her. Let's 
see. Wow, she must really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. So what's the problem then? The same fear that drove me away from her in the first place. Right. Give a brand teeny, will ya? This is a little story I want to tell ya. Right. Brantini. Alright. Let's set you up. Three powder delta. One karma train. Age. This leads me to believe that this is a pretty light drink. Also, with the amount of ingredients, maybe it's kind of big. Or a decent size. I mean, yeah, it's a small... That's a small looking glass, but like, what if it's much bigger and can, when like, you see it in the hands of one of these characters? Here. This is the thing, let's start. Boom. Aw, oh, man, Anna's here. Oh, hell no. This is the story of a girl who grew disillusioned with one of her sisters. Luna became an animosity, and not long after that, she distanced herself completely from such sister. With time, the girl would become attached to her eldest sister looking up to her achievements. All I can look at right now are those boobs. Not now. Said sister would even marry the girl's best friend not soon after. Oh, Jesus. And after the girl went to college, said sister would quit her job. She was so worried sick about leaving her baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. if I hire your high-ranking lips? Uh, the girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister wanted to get everything she held in high esteem for. She was no longer a child, and yet she felt like part of her had crumbled. Hey, Joe, can I lift your sweater? Do you want to see? I bet you want to see. All right, enough. Enough? Shit. Peace out. But, I mean, I know the girl is you, and... No, sister is your eldest sister. Please get to the point. Right. The point is... God, Anna. Oh, and yeah, she changed the TV. What do I feel like? Oh! It's, uh, it's Jill's favorite anime. I'll leave that on there for Jill. The point is, if you don't face her, she'll... She will be heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. That must take courage. Lots of it. Yeah, you're right. Mouse can I get a beer? Right. God damn! Beer, man, am I going. Uh, I am going crazy, aren't I? Wow, she's really putting him away. Two, three, four. All mixed. Beer. Here. Thanks. Tell me, did. You and this Gabby girl get along? Oh yeah. I never had brothers and sisters, but once Lenore introduced me to her as her sister-in-law, she got excited about having a new sister, and, that, and she clung to me a lot. I helped her in her studies, read books with her, played with her a lot. She was... She was pretty much my sister, too. I have to leave, but I'll tell you this. As both a big and little sister, if you don't grant that girl a chance of talking to you, I'll never forgive you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a small New Year's party this Saturday if you're interested. Oh, sure, I'll be here. Remember, I won't forgive you. Yeah, yeah. I'll go take my break. Alright. Bruh! You were here? You were quite absorbed in the conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you, didn't you hear? Anyways, call me if anything comes up. Ah. Man, why can't she be wearing this outfit in the concept art? Why it gotta be a skirt? I just, it's not that I'm against the fan service of like a skirt, it's just that like, in the game they acknowledge that she doesn't wear a skirt. Eh, maybe it's, maybe she wears it sometimes, who knows. Okay, we're saving. Because I've been having this really bad habit of, habit of accidentally clicking load. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Oh. There's no safe to keep playing. Let's chill today.
Keeping this down. This. Yeah, we're keeping this up. No, the kid's looking for you. <gasps> Is it Gabby? Oh, shit. Oh, that's not Gabby. It's Norma. Hey. Ah, Norma. <sighs> You're back. Oh, fuck you. You do know that I'm not giving you any drinks, right? Crap, I said it out loud. Yeah, um, actually, I wanted to thank you. Ugh, <sighs> thought it was for her. Thank me? Well, for starters, by not complying and giving me alcohol, everything else would have fallen apart if I had some. Uh, so responsible, Joe. I kind of faced my mom and told her all about the pressure she was putting on me, and I said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. And? Well, she didn't speak to me for two days. After that, she told me that it'd be a waste to spend money in a university for me just to not give it my all. So she told me to still go to the college course, but that I was free to explore. Glad to hear that. And well, I wanted to thank you for that. Me? If I just rushed head first into my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. And you were right. I would be hurting her for the sake of hurting. So, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'll leave before it's too late. I'll, I'll leave before it's too late outside. Be careful. Aw, oh, so sweet. Shut up. Hey, don't mind helping me out here? Sure. Make me a Bleeding Jane, please, on it. Bleeding Jane. Spicy, plastic, and silvering. No alcohol in this. One, two, three. Uh, all blended. I've never had a Bloody Mary before, but I hear they're great on. Oh fuck! What did we mess up? Oh, we put Leonard. We put Karma Train instead of. Wow. Instead of Powder Delta. This is supposed to be a non-alcoholic drink. Really mean. Getting my blues confused. Best. Thanks. Hey, Joe, do you hate me? Hate is a harsh word. I'm it's not against you directly, but rather at the fact only I can see you. Like I told you, if they wanted, they could see me. Um, why can't I? You're the main character? I don't know. What are you? A cute girl. Right. Okay, Joe, I'm making a lot of faces there. Hmm, yeah, just remembering stuff. Can you give me a hand here and serve a beer, please? Sure. Wow, we're busy tonight. <laughs> Two beers today. Mix. Bam! Beth. Thanks. Would you lighten up if I showed you I can interact with, interact with the environment? Maybe it'll spook me, but let's try. There. I can't see anything. You sure? What'd she do? Did she change the... Did she change the... The menu? Yep. Oh, she did! Okay. <laughs> Nobody expects the Dorothy Inquisition. Dorothy Inquisition? Dorothy Inquisition? Then quit. Ouch! I bit my tongue. I can't believe I'm using the spare tongue so early in the night. <laughs> uh -huh. Honey. Ah, hey Dorothy. I'm making a quick stop for a drink. Can I get a fluffy dream? Sure. A lovely fluffy dream for the dreamy little lady. Uh, if she's still after the drink, she might still be on the job, so I don't think I'm gonna put any alcohol in here. Ah. I love the way this drink looks. I also love citrus. Uh, there's still some mango. Do you know what? I should have made me. I should have made me that mango nectar rum cocktail. Thanks. But you know what? I'm feeling good right now. I don't need alcohol. I had a drink with a friend. On when? On Mon- Was it? When was it? It was... It was on Friday or Saturday? I think it was on Saturday. Saturday I had a drink with a friend. We had a lovely raspberry champagne and it was one of those champagnes where it's 
Or it's not... How can I word this? It's sweet, but the alcohol content in it was too high to make it a dessert wine. And it gave me a mean buzz that lasted quite a while. Yeah, before you leave... Uh, what? Are you guys throwing a New Year's party too? Yep. Yeah, I'll be there with you then. I've got things to do, so you do? Who does what? Sorry, I sneeze. Weird sneezes. Anyway, I'm out for now. Oh yeah, Joe? Take care of Becky, please. She's the... Anna's Rebecca, the daughter that Dorothy's guardian um, lost. Man, she was just in a rush. Okay, fuck that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. I'll need to get them through more shady means. He's gonna buy them from the internet. He'll find them and just put us all at the risk of... He'll find them and put us all at the risk of burning. I'll make sure there's an extra extinguisher at hand, please. Let's see, not here. Where the, where the tracks led here? <gasps> Is it Tomcat? <laughs> um, it's Tomcat! <sighs> I'm gonna have to play that. I'm gonna have to play Read Only Memories after this. Oh, I'm at a bar. Well, that's nice. Can I get you something? Let's have a brand team. Everyone's favorite other pal, Tomcat. A uh, Brantini for our mystery visitor. One, two, three, one karma train. All aged and mixed. This seems right. I will brought you here. Um, I think it's better if my name remains mystery for now. Address of error. Huh. The money is there, but the registry can't display the name properly. So, what brought you here, um, mysterious person? I'm following Alice Abbott's trail. I want to know how deep the hole goes. Trail? The massive leak of white nights from Cider Info from two weeks ago made it to the global news. Here, I got the best of me. So I started sneaking the trail of the transmission. Do you work for someone, then? No, you could say it's for fun. Alice Rabbit is quite the urban legend, and I wanted to study it. <laughs> now see. Hey, would you say Alice Rabbit is a person or a group? Excuse me? Oh, well, there's people who say that it might as well be a group instead of just a person. They can they can just if it can just be a group, it can also just be a symbol. Everyone's using the Alice Rabbit moniker could be doing. So as a way of staying anonymous while protecting clean by projecting clear intent. I doubt it though. Why? I just thought its actions are too consistent. It can't be a group, and if it's and if it's a group, it's most likely coordinated by just one person. Everything seems to fit an agenda. The attacks are too consistent. And use similar methods. Really? I guess it can be hard for most people to notice. Beyond the consistent usage of the same bunny avatar. By the way, the attacks are executed in is uh, the attacks executed is always in the same vein. Not that it makes it easier to track, actually. Its track uh, its tracks only get dimmer and dimmer when with each attack. And so you came to check on what might be left behind from the last hacking job? A pilgrimage of sorts, if you will. I say, would you mind giving me a Zen star? Sure. Let's see. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Along the rocks and mix. That's so weird. Well, at least it looks pretty. Here. Ah, as nasty as I remember. So what have you found, Jimmy Jam? Sure. How the hell not? I'm in a good mood. Well, whoever Alice Rabbit is, or... Or... 
are. They spent a lot of time planting seeds all over the city. Seeds? There's these traces of the video being streamed up to 24... from up to 23 different locations. All of them routers of different brands that blew up after the transmission. Every one of them using different ISPs. Some even using internet providers from outside the city. There's even traces of programs hacked into devices. The given it a means to access the network for as long as the broadcast lasted. Apparently, Alex Rabbit also accessed devices early to make sure they could get turned on at the right time. Oh, that's the only thing without the transmissions. Well, the only thing without transmissions was my old CRT, so yeah. But the Kaufman shit did tell me, I uh, tell you. I have no trace whatsoever of where anything came from. Even if you look at the metadata and the leaked files left on all the devices at the transmission ended, there's, there's nothing. Perfect crime then? Not perfect compared to other attacks like the first leaks that started the riots around here. This one is sloppy. Quite specifically, the means of destroying evidence wasn't as effective as other occasions. But thanks to the commotion at the bank, many attempts at to investigate further were curved by the madness that followed. I see. Well, I must keep moving. Oh yeah. My name's Tomcat, by the way. Nice meeting you. Huh. They just did clear up too. Well, I guess that's it for today. Sure you're fine? Well, I am, don't worry. Alright, careful out there. Ugh. All booze, no firecrackers makes Dana a dull girl. No mistake. Oh, it's the 29th. I was thinking a lot about Kita Miki. Buying one of her posters will prevent her from getting too distracted. Ah, oh, Jesus, Jill. I don't think I've bought anything extra this playthrough, so I think I should be fine. We might meet her today, actually. No way, I think she already gave us the, the tickets with like the backstage, with the backstage passes. Aw, it's a lovely little poster. We're talking to the Alma girl a lot. Jealous. <laughs> BTC closing 40% of boys in the city. Oh yeah, this late to the party. Oh yeah, this late to the party augmented eye. Yeah, that's a lot to, so let's see. The British Trademark Council being gonna be closing lots of bars around the city. Has negative impact on their earnings if we can't continue in the red up here. Ah, interesting future they all live in. Ah! A lie I can get behind. Iron socks with sandals in public is now a crime. Ugh, but see, when I think socks and sandals is in an offending content context, I think boob socks and flip flops. I've seen tights worn with sandals. That's nice. Or you know, like a tight like or tights like socks. Let's save. You know what? I feel like doing one more day. Or I call it quits and head to bed. Cause I'm feeling great right now. That bar called Valhalla. I'm pulling myself your arm. Is oh that bar called Valhalla is only good. I need a place to unwind after work. Work. That means taking over, huh? Her, her everyone is in oh Jesus. So, never been there, so I wouldn't know. Is she cute? I can take I can take it if she's cute. She's cute, but I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit more of a bro. C already had a conversation with her. Did she reject your universe now? I just heard from the distance. Is that a no? Kind of, I mean, if you're gonna go there just to chat, I just want a place to chill for a bit and meet new people. Can I smoke there? Is there any bar from the BTC where you can smoke? Nope. Bummer. Well, I think going. I'm going next week. Sounds good enough time. I really hope that the fame of Screamer Chen going in there and Kira and the Kira Miki glass, uh, you know, brings 
some good business to the bar and fuck it sucks that i won't know the bar's fate until until hopefully the sequel comes out the nirvana uh, unless i'm mistaken my grandpa lived there too before they turned it into good city Trust the white knights and don't go out after 5 p.m. unless you want to get mugged or murdered. Bring a portable chair everywhere. You'll have to line up for flower, lol. I used to eat what you. Uh, I get. Oh, get used to get used to eat what you find. The shortages are getting out of hand. I've been eating rice with butter for months now, but I guess it could be worse. Good thing, so please. I have enough as it is. Oh man. Oh, my sleep aids are starting to kick in. I better head to work. Well, oh, December 29th. Okay. So, oh, God. I feel like there was another. Okay. So, I could stream this. To, we could do a multi game stream. I could stream this tomorrow. We could get to the end, and then I could finish uh, Delta Rune Chapter 1. Because I'm, I'm having fun playing that, too. Hey! Okay, so we almost got everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so I designate you, Gillian Applegate, as official guy who goes and buys the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea who that is. Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. And I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. You're not gonna say anything, J You're not gonna say anything, Jill? To me, it's not being a deliver- not being delivery girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. Ugh, fine, give me that list. I'll be back sometime. Something tells me you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? Oh, it- we've got feeling. You know, Gal has a crush. <laughs> he- what? A client of his, a girl that owns a bazaar. He's been coming on to him for ages, and he's only started uh, opening up. He's taking steps backwards, and I'm not gonna let him. He's opening up, for fuck's sake. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar, I take it? That's right. Huh. Alright, then, to the office I go. As for me... I got this loaded with our jam, so he's good to go. Still on shuffle? Still on shuffle. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Go with a crush, huh? This place, this place is great. Oh, if it isn't, <gasps> it's Miss Mickey. Hey, Jill. Sorry, but is there anywhere I can hide? There's an unpleasant guy on my trail. Boss, stock, boss, stock woman incoming. The door's open. Go ahead to the door on the left. Thanks. Hello there. Oh, hi there. The other, the other, the other one. That's the bathroom. Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? Now, where did she? Oh, the hellhole. Perfect. Oh God, I still remember the voice they gave him the first time I played this and how it was murder in my throat. Hey, kid, I'll have the usual. Uh, his usual drink is a big ass beer. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. And we're just gonna top this all off of smoke in my hall. Synthetic, was it synthetic ties? There we go. All mixed. Big beer! Here. This seems right. The paper's been a mess lately. You'd think with all that's happening, they'd stay and do more reports but they're all asking for vacations and I can't afford to be under staff. So, I had to come up with some sort of reward for whoever produces the most, uh, reports. Is that what he did? Yep. I see no difference in my feed, though. Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but you do know the infamy of the augmented eye with the general public, right? Ah, uh, the shitty page will over central, uh, over sensationalize anything and report on useless things. Of course I know. Then why not try to rectify that image? To put it simply, I'm being clutched by the balls. In a non pleasant way. Zaibatsu Corp and 
company, uh, and company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. Report on them once they'll find something to find, uh, to find you with. Twice, and they'll find your resource, you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that, and best case scenario is that they'll just buy the damn operation and keep it quiet. I know there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is the lackeys picked out last that week. But if I overstep, my ass is in on, is on the line. Huh. I had to see this hellhole is still in one piece. The BTC has going apeshit closing bars lately. Oh yeah, that. Yesterday they closed one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. And last week they closed three small bars that served as uh, that served as illegal chicken restaurants. Huh. Not to mention, there are like hundreds of people who have BTC certificates but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restructuring will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. Hopefully we see some restructuring on Twitch. This... it's just been a... it's just been one security issue after the other. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought. No news outlets talk about it, but... Alright, kid, let's try a Moonblast now. Come again? Hey, even I have to break the routine from time to time. Eh, yeah, sometimes it's good to break the routine. Explore a menu. Actually, whenever I find a restaurant I really like, it, it's just great when you find a place where you're not... You're not... Ups you're not dissatisfied with anything on the menu. Ooh, this is a blended drink. I have, I've been to quite a few restaurants, uh, where just everything I order has just been great. Here. Now, let's see what all the rock this is about. Um, so, what about you here? All oh, right, didn't you see the little one coming in here? Blue hair, big tits. She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Not really. Did she jump to the roof then? <clears throat> Why were you looking for her? Did you want an interview? Not really, just hitting on her. Hey, I said hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. Why though? Are you that bored? Don't you have like a family or something? Have you seen that girl? Hot as tits! Also, hot ass and tits. I'm suffering the weirdest combo of being hot as fuck and curious as shit right now. Ah, that's actually how I discovered my bisexuality. I want to know just how detailed those King Glass Kia models are, personally. And so you followed her. I have yet to meet the woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. In front of one, and I'm guessing you have quite the selective memory. Like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife, but that woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. In fact, I'm pretty convinced she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. Hey, whatever works, man. So that little one isn't here, huh? I'll have to find that busty enough replacement. Oh, I'll have to find a busty enough replacement on it or I'll explode. Gross. Hey, after you're done glaring, please send me a pile driver. Right. Let's give him a pile driver. Literally. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. It doesn't burn as hard on the tongue, but you better not have a sore throat when drinking it. God, that sounds awful. Is that what I've been serving the people? Yeah. All right. Well, seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. The guy laughed. Oh, all right. Thanks for sheltering me, Dana. I hope your sister likes the video. No, thank you. Seems you had a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. My sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her. Let's take a couple of photos. How nice of you. It's nothing, really. And she hid and she did hide me, so it's the least I could do. But, well, we're already here. Mind giving you something sweet? Sure. You know what? I want her drink to be perfect. Let's see what she wants. Let's look at a quick walkthrough. It should be the 29th or the 30th. Oh, 
Oh, literally anything sweet, huh? Well, let's take a gander. Nice flavor. I don't think I want to give her one of these. Although maybe I should. But she's a celebrity. She got money. We can give her something expensive and she won't give a fuck. Y'all know what woman it is. Two powdered gel pepper planner guide. And three of these. All age. The Nick. A piano woman. Oh, the pretty woman. Here. Thanks. Do you know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. I see. Seems like he was just trying to come on to you. You don't say. Well, not like he'd have a chance anyways. I'm not into older guys. I'm already in a committed relationship. Figure- wait, you are? It's not common knowledge, and the ones that hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but... I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. Really? They're both single, and that kind of stuff is going to happen when you spend so much time together. But it all started when he read an entry I made in my blog about wanting to experience love and the light. He offered to help with that after he read it, and I thought, sure, why not? I already knew him well enough, it wouldn't hurt to try. Oh, nice. He's a stick in the mud where planning is due, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. You know, I met two friends of yours lately. Really? Both of them seemed so excited when they were talking about you. It was amazing. <laughs> I don't like the term fan too much. It strikes me as a bit pretentious, in my opinion. I have many fans. I have many fans that sit so well. I like many people who like my music better. Fan evokes an uglier and more pretentious image of me. Do you like what I do, Jill? Do you like my music? To be honest, I haven't heard much ex much exposure to your work, but a few things I've heard are really good. And I'm not gonna lie, having talked to you, I feel like I would support you even if you didn't like it. <laughs> so nice to hear. Hey, this will sound familiar, but do you have anything like tea? Let me see. Oh, what is it? We got, we got the Mulan tea right here. We got you, sweetie. Here. Ugh, perfect. Hey, you're a King Class CH1A, right? That I am. May I ask you something about your model? Sure. Are there any differences between you and the DFC-72? Hmm. We both serve the same purpose, but... DFC-72s have the port on their heads, which makes them more versatile. My line lacks that, or the result of the resilience of the D-toids. Not the D-toids. But we're a tad more polished elsewhere. More specifically, our voice simulators are more advanced, and our movements are smoother. A trade-off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. Ah, I see. Hey Jill, will you go to my next concert? I heard every ticket was sold out, never mind how expensive they are. So I guess that's a no, sorry. No, now you will. Here. Eh? Is, is this? It's a ticket for my encore concert. Sorry it's not a better seat, but I only get so many free tickets. No, I mean this is amazing. I don't know if I can accept it though. You will. It even has the backstage pass so we can talk afterward. And you will tell me how it was. Why well, give it to me? I don't know. I like you. You're attentive, and you hear me out. That behavior should be rewarded more. No, thanks. God, it feels so weird to get a gift. If I'm a celebrity, no less. Don't think too much about it. You deserve it. Although, I guess I can't understand how you feel about receiving gifts. I usually get quite a few from fans, but it always feels so weird. 
I don't like feeling as though I got something for free. Luckily, I've thought of a way of not feeling bad about it. How? Just give, I just give it my all on stage. They give me those gifts to me after watching me perform. It's only natural for me to do my best when I give it my all as a way to repay them. I should, uh, give it my all mixing drinks th then. Of course. I see. Well, I gotta go, but let's have a Sparkle Star first. Alright. Sparkle Star for Miss Idol. Which one's this one? Ooh. I remember this one. No, I'll go. All for you! Ugh. Here. Sparkling. Well, it's always a pleasure, Jill. Please come again. Will do. Oh, that handsome bartender. Oh, the handsome bartender. Nice to meet you. Um, uh, boss kills back. I'll take my break. All right. Well, hello. Okay. It's now safe to keep playing. Lovely. That's itself. Buy more oil for that door. Let's continue. All right then. Going in my spot, please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of the boss's chicken buckets. The boss asked you to do that. If I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a doubt. Let's go with that then. Right. <laughs> Greetings. Ah. Oh. Stella, so nice to see you. Ah, uh, Stella, what can I get you? I'll go with the Bleeding Jane today. Start off with something a little light. I wonder if she was bar hopping. I do like that this money girl can appreciate the street food. Oh, it's gotta be blended. Here you go. Thank you. I brought you here today, waiting for say. I came by myself, actually. I was in the area and stopped to say hi. Oh, it's pretty interesting, though. When I first saw you, I doubted you'd ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. It's so quiet and secluded. It's also clean. Really clean. Gil is the one you owe for that, one, too. The guy takes pride in how clean he keeps things around here. If you ever need a cleaning staff, he's a nice pick. Really? <laughs> he's a bit out of it today, though. I see. Hey, Joe, have you ever heard of the new gold rush in the city? Gold rush? Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white night suits. I think I heard or read something about that, but I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how is it a gold rush? All the tech behind the suits was already safeguarded, but after the events at the bank... Sorry, after the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, breaking many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynchings went on. Any white knights still stuck in their suit had to take off the armor manually to run away. It all happened in the middle of the lynchings, so they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Uh, some weren't that lucky. They got beaten up while they weren't able to move. Uh, so between the suits becoming glorified paperweights and many white knights going on the run, they ended up being a lot of junk lying around, but the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're on a race to reverse engineer the suits and take as much technology as possible from them. And of course, every single piece, uh, every, even single pieces of the armor fetch a high price these days. Could anyone see any profit from that research to justify those expenses? It's new tech, a whole new field ripe with patents just open for many, so I'd say yes. Huh. I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built upon patents and trademarks, I can see how. There is one weird case, though. Hmm? 
There's this guy named Jack. He's the captain of a very unique Blitzkrieg corps unit. Unique? The guy had a really small unit, five people, including himself. The aesthetics of his armor were, was heavily modded to the point that they looked like a squad of henchmen heroes. And what? Ahem. They looked really gaudy. But it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He... he has one of the few, if not the only, suits of armor with the OS intact. To say they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It's interesting, the amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. It also helps to put on a front that makes people lower their guard. This should sound familiar to you. True. Wait. Here's a freebie, a fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up after and leaving no, no traces, but regulations and laws didn't allow for that kind of technology near civilians. I guess even Zaibatsu Corp has its limits, huh? People love to demonize Zaibatsu Corp because, let's face it, they're far from innocent. But they're not evil overlords, they're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. They just happen to have control over what the tantamounts tant to a city-state. <laughs> the corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city trying to use product placement. If he is, my, is, do you still as much hold the bottle the wrong way or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. Let's not start with the theme parks or the like. Those are dystopias of their own. And again, most of the demonize demonization is due to Quincy being such a clown. He has no power anyways. He's just a front that, uh, that whatever council behind the Zaibatsu Corp chose. He makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is Zaibatsu Corp is actually doing. Ugh, yeah. So, what were you saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park? I've called it the White Knight's Glorified Mall Security- oh, I've called the White Knight's Glorified Mall Security in the past, so yeah. Huh. Oh, seriously, hen what? Um, <laughs> can I get a brand TD, please? Sure, sure. Ah, uh, Stella's a bit of a weeb, and she don't want to share that side of her with Jill. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and the karma final age and me. What the hell did I fuck up? Oh, I forgot to age it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, age, bam. Here. Thanks. So I take it you're in a good mood today. Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well. I imagine I have a couple of tickets for the Kita Miki concert. Nice. All oh, right, as it turns out, she was just here. Again? Um, sorry. Again? <laughs> Can't believe I just missed her. I was surprised too. I was more surprised she remembered my name though. And like the last time, she was quite the graceful client. Man, so those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true? Amazing. I know, she even got me a ticket for the concert. She what? I had to twist some arms to get tickets for the encore concert. And not only did you... Not only did he get them for free, the idol herself gave them to you? Do you have any idea how jealous I am right now? It'll be interesting. You're gonna enjoy the hell out of it, trust me. This will be my first live concert of her, but I've seen every other concert of hers on video. They all have such a magical aura to them. Everyone says they have to be seen to be believed. You really like her music, huh? It makes me happy, what can I say? I love listening to it when I'm feeling down. Hell, it even helped me when I was worried sick about Say at the bank. It made me forget all my worries, even if for a, for a while. Ah, I see. Hey, Jill, you want to come to the concert with us? Us? I invited Say because I managed to get two tickets. You want to come with us, though? I'd love to. I didn't want to go by myself, but... Are you okay with that? I don't want to be a burden. Of course, the more the merrier. 
Do you really believe me saying she was just here that easily? You're not the kind to lie about stuff like that, so I'm sure. Thanks, I guess. That said, can you go to the uh, can you go to the concert so easily? What about security and the like? My dad always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. Uh, and you'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and a cap. I see. I wonder if I could. Oh, I wonder if I could get in the disabled line with sand or wounds. Although she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it, and we shouldn't abuse that. <laughs> Hey, can you get me a classic drink? Sure. Uh, something classic, huh? Get her a frothy water? Yeah, let's give her a frothy water. One, 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 one. All age and mixed. PG rated shows favorite beer or set since 2040. Here, thank you. Uh, do you think many servants around the house? Uh, do you have many servants around the house, Stella? I do, but they've been with us for so long. They're pretty much family. My dad always said that if you want to earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you, and everyone wins. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineering, and he actually came back. He still comes by every week and attends the plant. Man, that sounds nice. Let me know if you're ever in need of a job. I might find you something. Thanks for the offer. Wait, hmm? I just realized something's up with this whole tech gold rush story. What would it be? What would... Wouldn't all that tech be patented anyways? I get they're trying to crack it in the first place, but that would be true if the tech was patented in the first place. It isn't? They thought to have been so paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable that they never patented anything. A patent would be in the database that someone could hack and retrieve valuable info from. Not to mention they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. And no patent registry in their right mind would approve of that global shutdown signal. Let alone how to mobilize everyone still inside those suits. So the ones that were uploading the law did so using suits that are by all means illegal? The irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? Why do it, though? When you have so much money, you start thinking you can screw around with the rules. All that power makes you think you're above every law there is. And this city is what happens when those mon- when- the oh. And that city is what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious, though. Have you ever covered up any fuck-ups by using money? I think we've done things- I think we've all done things we're not too proud of at some point of our lives. Oh, Joe, I gotta go. It's a pleasure. Please come again. Oh, Alma. Now, hello? You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? Basic courtesy. Something I will fight to uphold. First, the greetings stop and saying please and thanks stops, and before you know it, boom, total anarchy. <laughs> You're exaggerating. I'm not. In fact, I'll go through that door again. I expect you to properly greet me this time. Fine. Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight jury, while a pondering weak and weary. Over many quaint a curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As if someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. As some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. He overdid it. He totally overdid it. Both the bartender, I did not. So you like poetry? I had a phase. Oh god, I had an Edgar Allan Poe phase too. Though, I wasn't cringe about it. I was just like, oh, this man wrote about many things. And I do like his poem, uh, El Dorado. Can I get you something? Let's start with a big pole bat velvet. Uh, I forgot what was in this one. <sighs> Tastes like champagne served in the cup that had a bit of coal in it. Two, three, four, five. Rock mix. Voila. Oh wait, she wanted a big one. A uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just a shit ton of alcohol.
There we go. Here. Thanks. Oh yeah, there's something I've been wondering about for a while. Hmm? Is Green Shadow Master 69 Chronicles doing any bells? Wow, you went pale. No, the name doesn't ring any bells. May 22nd. Today my daily card readings told me that I, I'd meet great change thanks to an old man. The biology told me I had been picked for an inter-school contest with my latest essay. This new scientific theory on the idea of ours was as revolutionary as I thought. Soon I'll bring the world into an, uh, the occult science singularity. That entry doesn't seem to have gone that well, though. Mentions of being laughed at, being lectured on why the essay was wrong. Still, I made sure to delete that blog, no evidence should be left. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head uh, that have all that stuff archived. Why? Why? You should relax, it's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Don't you realize how embarrassing it all is? We've all been young, Jill, relax. It's not like you're still like that nowadays. That would have been embarrassing. You have to like that, right? Gods, no, I give up on the whole occult stuff. It, <laughs> just remembering all that stuff is... <sighs> I don't know, I like the way you look. All dressed in black with the rare accessory popping out thanks to the colors. I mean, at least you had the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. So you have a pick. Oh god. You have a fucking pick! Why do you do this to me? Why do you dig out my out the sins of my past? I was bored. I was Friday, I had to take my mind off of the whole Diana thing. So I ran a small background check on you. Simple stuff. Just checking past internet activity. Please don't run background checks like that. I just use a search engine, you know. I didn't request documents or anything. What led you to that page? You do realize your main mail, uh, mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? Like I said, relax. You were obsessed with occultism. Um, you wanted, you were obsessed with occultism. I wanted to kiss all the boys. And I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, which still sort of haunts me today. Uh, never underestimate the links. Old classmates will go to track you down. Especially if they think you're still the girl... I kiss them for fun and they're lonely to boot. We all have things we're not too proud of as adults. Uh, now I know how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. I have to ask, why the 69? It was supposed to be 69, not 59. Like, a reference to both the lovers and the hermit. I was convinced it meant wise choices. Yeah, there's nobody that would read that as 69. I was 12 at the time. Even at 12, I fucking knew what a 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? I have no idea. Well, let's sweeten up. Let's sweeten up things a bit. I'll have a sugar rush. Sure. I mean, it's the go-to drink of the BTC. We're gonna put some fucking alcohol on this because you just have to be a bitch. And dig up our past sins. Uh, that's fine. Here. This is the thing. See, so yeah, I'm just thinking of the past. What was your last long term relationship like? That was sudden. You dug up my past. I am the right to dig through yours. Fine, fine. That's a true friend right there. We, she knocked, she knocked Jill down a, a few pegs down and she's just like, all right, you can do the same. Let's dish. Long lasting relationships, huh? Romantic ones, I'm guessing. Yep. Well, I've had about four boyfriends who I describe as such that I've introduced to my family and all. The first one was in the high school. I broke up with him because he cheated on me. And the other girl trying to pick a fight with me just saying, keep the fucker. The second one was during my freshman year. I broke up with him after he thought it'd be funny to punch me in the arm. He starts with a friendly hit, and before you know it... Anyways. The other guy I met shortly after I dropped out. He 
he was interested in marriage, but he wanted to get married after only half a year or so knowing him. And then there's Richard. Who? I spent almost four years with him. We got along pretty well. We had awesome chemistry. I really loved him. But as time went by, there was a rift that started separating us. He just didn't like my family. He didn't. Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distanced himself from his own and voiced that he didn't want kids. There was a part of me that wanted to believe, even just after a little bit, that maybe he changed his mind. But as much as I loved him, that one detail brought a growing gap between us. And at one point, I just had to break up with him. So I'm not here to depress you. Bring me a beer, will ya? Sure. <sighs> Sometimes it feel like that. Sometimes they just... You just find out everything they ever said about you was a fucking lie. But this ain't about me. It's about Jill and Alma. Thanks for telling me that, by the way. No mention it. Okay, one more question and we're even... Wow, you really are embarrassed with that blog, huh? Oh. Sure, ask away. I want you to get those implants in your boobs. Jill, I love you, and I know when you're saying that in jest, but I have lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can and won't take it as a joke. As such, and honoring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real, and they're spectacular. Ask a real question before I slap you. I'll grant you one and only one chance to call me by my full name as a conversation then. I'll gladly take you on your offer. It's funny that you mentioned slapping because my real question was, why did you get your hands chopped? <laughs> chopped. Well, there was a couple of reasons. The first is that I spend lots of time typing, and these replacements help uh, me avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh. There's other utilities, like how I can interface with many devices. For example, there's a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. If I move my index finger, it acts like the computer's cursor. There's lots more, but there's small things that don't sound that impressive when I say it out loud. How did your family take the operation? They took it well enough, except for my mom. She freaked out for months. She even went to the hospital to ask for my hands. Don't you miss them? Sometimes, but just during emotional mo moments. But as luck would have it, someone else has them. Shortly after my operation, there was an accident on the highway. One of the victims was this young lady whose right hand got completely crushed. I told them to check if we were compatible and all that. I mean, implants are not everyone's first choice if they can get a natural replacement. A bit of cosmetic treatment and it could pass off as her original hand with no problem. Last I heard, that we were compatible and the family agreed to the donation. I don't know what became of her, but I hope she's fine. Well, maybe we'll meet her in Nirvana. And you didn't tell your mom about that? I didn't want her pestering the poor girl. So, are we cool now? Are we even now? Are we? You're pretty pissed about my comment regarding your boobs. Again, I'm sorry. It, it sounded a lot less rude in my head. Yeah, don't worry about that. Besides, I get to call you Julianne once. No, you don't. Now you don't. Eh, why? You just called me by my full name. Are you serious? One chance? And only one chance. It up. Damn it. Surprise! Hey, Alma, this might be a weird tangent, but do you believe in ghosts? Hey! I particularly know. Oh, there's been this paper I read once that was quite interesting. Hmm. It proposed a scenario where a nanomachine cluster would leave the body after death, and then acted as a collective hive mind through residual brain waves. The result would basically be an image not unlike a hologram. Of course, the hypothesis fell through because such nanomachine density is impossible in a body. Even 5% of the amount needed is enough to make the blood too dense for the heart. And it's not like brain waves are potent enough to create those reactions. Still an interesting read, though. I see. Ah, I wonder if that's what happened to Rebecca right here. 
Don't give me that look. It's not my fault you're convincing yourself that you're crazy. Wait. Uh, well, I'll leave then. See you tomorrow. See ya. All done? Uh, I am. What about you, Gil? For some reason, the idle girl left him like that, it seems. You think? It might have been a while. Uh, it might have been a while he was out. True. Hey boss, so you're a fan of you're a fan of wrestling, aren't you? I mean, you were a wrestler, so that I am. Yeah, why? I was wondering, isn't wrestling fake? Aren't twin tails for little girls and teens with eighth grade syndrome? Eighth grade what? When you get down to it, wrestling is as real as a soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect legal lawsuits to be fixed in a ring, right? Here am I. In my ideal world, you would solve legal problems through good old wrestling, but. Uh, no, seriously, 8th grade what? <laughs> but you don't go around calling stuff up as fake. It's a show! This happens to use fights as an expression. You might as well see it as a unique form of theater. That's actually true! Uh, when people say wrestling is fake, they usually refer to, like, the stories and the plots. You're watching stuntmen. You're watching actors that do their own stunts. Sometimes things go wrong, they... Owen Wilson, or was it Owen Hart, rest in peace. And Viscera. And Eddie Guerrero. Ah, God. Sorry. I'm making myself sad thinking of all the wrestlers I like that are no longer with us. Uh, besides, considering the injuries many wrestlers suffer, it's not all fake. Huh. I didn't think about that way. Think about it that way. Sadly. That was done for anyone bad mouthing wrestling. But now I have to go and break Gil's back to make you humble. Oh well. Wait, what? Come here, fuck boy! Fuck boy! Eighth grade, what? Can't even be out, fool. Who'd have thought that we'd get a bona fide idol in the bar? <gasps> we have the money to pay rent! Thank God! <coughs> Jill will have a roof on her head for another month. A sense of relief will make sure she focuses that work. That's for another month. Yay! And with that, I will save my game. Go to save. Bam! Alright, everyone. It is time for me to knock out. I had a great time streaming this. I hope anyone watching this whether it be watching it right now or through a VOD, had a great time too. I hope you're all doing great. I hope you all have, oh, I hope you're all do, be, being very safe. You may want to go out and get some candles if you live in California because boy howdy, these winds is causing all kinds of crazy stuff. Just be safe. Also, you know, keep wearing the mask, get vaccinated whenever you can. And remember to stay healthy and hydrated. Until next stream, everybody.